Yeah, so you're right. Oh, I don't want to suggest that we discount deflation because it's always a risk. And it is, as I said, it's just the probability of decrease. It is always a risk. But the really beneficial thing that's going on right now is it's cheap to hedge against inflation. Inflation linked bonds are expensive, gold's expensive, but cyclical equities are really cheap. If you want to go and buy financials, you can get them really cheap. If you want to buy energy stocks, you can get them really cheap. So if you want to find ways of hedging against uh, expected inflation, it's quite cheap at the moment. So there, we, that to us is a really nice trade-off. The probabilities in our scenarios have increased for inflation, but there's a really nice cheap way of hedging against it. So that's, that's something that's permeating our portfolios as a, as a theme right now. Cham, just a quick response on that, um, I guess, inflationary versus uh, deflationary uh, balance in probabilities. Uh, what, what's your leaning at this point? Well, my, um, you know, I still lead towards more of the deflationary camp, but I, I agree that the probability have increased towards you know some inflation pressures just given how responsive governments and central banks have been now the question is is all this fiscal stimulus uh simply filling a hole that was created um so how much of it is uh reactionary versus you know how how much of it is proactive actual stimulus so will that will that that remains to be seen um i will just expand upon um what al was saying about um, cyclicals, and I think it's it's a great point that you know it comes down to the overall portfolio. You can get fantastic inflation protected exposures from you know growth assets. You don't have to get your inflation protection out of bonds or traditional defensives because linkers, you know, they are they are quite expensive. Floating rate credit is quite expensive right now. So if you do want some inflation protection, um, you know, perhaps it's better to tilt towards value towards tilt tilting towards cyclicals within your equities or, or maybe even commodity type exposures within your growth allocation.